Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about triangle similarity. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So last time, meron tayong upload a video about basic proportionality theorem na kung saan, if you want to know more about that topic, ilagay natin yung ating link sa description box natin. Dito sa ating description box. So, let's try to discuss triangle similarity. So, triangles, triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ written as triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. So, before natin puntahan yung mismo uh, statement na to, that these two triangles are similar, alamin mo na natin what are the criteria for us to determine whether the two triangles are similar. Basically, pag sinabi natin similar figures, uh, number one na criteria is that dapat pare sila ng shape. So, actually, uh, ito ay pare sila ng shape. Yung dalawang figures natin ay pare as triangles. So, ano ngayon yung dalawang criteria pa na magamit natin for us to consider whether these two triangles are similar. Letter A, we have the first one. We can say that these triangles are similar or the triangles are similar if all pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. So this, that is the first criteria. Dapat daw lahat ng angles are congruent. Letter B, all pairs of corresponding sides are proportional. So that is the second criteria. So we check natin whether na-satisfy natin yung given conditions for us to consider these two triangles are similar triangles. First, all pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. As you can see, given this triangle A, B, C, and triangle X, Y, and Z, as you can see, angle A is congruent to angle X. So we can say that, ito, ito yung ano natin, congruent angles. We have angle A is congruent to angle X. And another pair of congruent angles or congruent corresponding angles ay yung ating angle B. This is angle B. Angle B is congruent to angle Y. And the last pair of angles that are congruent, we have angle C is congruent to angle Z. So answer, um, paano nyo nalaman na they are congruent? As you can see, yung angle A natin, angle A corresponds to angle X. Pares sila ng markings. Meron silang pares na, na number of arc. Ibig sabihin, yung measurement ng angle A is equal to the measurement of angle X. Next, angle B and angle Y. This is your angle B and this is your angle Y. As you can see, they have the same number of arcs. Meron silang dalawa. Ibig sabihin, they are congruent or equal in terms of measurement. And angle C and angle X, uh, sorry, angle C and angle Z, you have angle C and angle Z, they correspond to each other. They are congruent because they have the same measurement. So ito yung first criteria natin, na meet ng ating dalawang triangles na all pairs corresponding angles are congruent. So let's move on with the sex, second criteria. All pairs of corresponding sides are proportional. So dito, Later on, I will give you an example na they are uh, proportional. Try, sige, try na rin natin. Let's say for example, this is uh, side, side AB measures 6 units. And this is 3 units. And this is 4 units. And let's say side XY is 9 units. And then yung ati namang side YZ is how many kaya? Um, 6. And then this one is 4.5. Check natin if they are proportional. Pero mag-create muna tayo ng ating um, proportion. So, AB dito ah. Uh, corresponding proportional sides. And dito, we have AB you have AB 
over xy is equal to bc over yz that is equal to ac or ca over xz. And given this measurements, check natin if magiging equal yung kanyang ratio. If pag naging equal yun, they, meaning they are proportional. Ang ating AB is 6. We have AB which is 6. Yung XY natin is equal to 9. You have 6 over 9. And then for BC, you have BC is equal to 4. At ang ating YZ versus YZ is equal to 6. And as you can see, yung AC natin, yung AC natin is 3. While your, this one is, X, Z natin is 4.5. Pag sinimplify nyo itong ano natin, yung 6 over 9 natin, 6 over 9 natin, it will give you, um, this is 2 thirds, right? 2 thirds. Kapasin nyo, 2 thirds. And then, ito naman, yung 2 over 4 natin is also 2 thirds. At yung ating namang 3 and, 3 over 4 over 4.5 is also equal to 2 thirds. So, as you can see, para pares sala, ibig sabihin lahat ng ito ay equal sa 2 over 3. Ang tawag sa 2 over 3 na yan, kapag naging equal yan, if the sides are proportional, ang tawag sa 2 thirds na yan, ito, ay scale factor. Tandaan ko ha, that is your scale factor. Okay, ngayon, as you can see, nasatisfy natin yung dalawang conditions for us to consider that these two triangles are similar. Una, we have all pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent. Lahat ng angles of corresponding angles are congruent. Tapos, all pairs of corresponding sides are proportional. As you can see, meron sila scale factor of two-thirds in which we can say that these triangles, these triangles are proportional. Ngayon, we can say na triangle ABC is similar the triangle X Y Z. By the way, this is the ano, ah, this is the uh, symbol for similarity. Don't be confused, kasi magkaiba ang congruency symbol, di ba? Nakita niyo congruency symbol. Iba yan. Hindi yan parehas nito. Eto ay ano? Ah, um, symbol for congruency. This one is symbol for similarity. Ganon yung pagkakaiba nila. Okay. In the next part of our video, I will give you examples. Wherein we will try to use our knowledge about triangle similarity to solve for the missing side of one of the similar triangles. Now we are given this kind of problem wherein sabi dito, assume that triangle ABC is similar to triangle GON. So again, when we say that the triangles are similar, first we need to meet the criteria that all the angles are congruent. All the corresponding angles are congruent. Secondly, is that dapat daw yung ating corresponding sides are proportional. And since we are given this, assume that triangle ABC is congruent to, ang, to triangle GON, we need to assume that all the angles are congruent. And then we need to answer this problem or this list of problems. We have here AB over GO. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Parang pinapagawa sa atin dito, we need to complete the proportional, uh, uh, the, we need to complete the proportion. So, we have here AB over GO. Anong kasunod niyan? As you can see, ito yung sequence niyan. You have AB corresponds to GO. So, ang kasunod dito is that you have BC, BC, second, third, over the second, third of the other triangle, over O, N. Okay? And the next ratio is by using the first and third letter, we have AC or CA, pwede rin naman CA, and GO, GN over GN. So ngayon, since nabuna natin yung proportion natin, you have AO, AB over GO is equal to BC over ON is equal to AC over GN. Makakatulong siya para ma-solve natin yung second, uh, second and third problem natin. 
In the second problem, we are asked to find x. So as you can see, yung x natin, your x is also equal to the side BC. Right? Yung x natin is also equal to side BC. Ngayon sir, paano natin kakalculate ngayon or hahanapin yung value ng x using this kind of figures? Puntaan nyo lang itong proportion natin. So as you can see, yung BC natin is ito. For in, pupunta mo dito, alin sa mga proportion na to, yung merong BC. So, you will be using BC. Dito na lang. BC over OM. Kasi kailangan natin gamitin yung BC. Dahil nandiyan si X. Tapos, hanapin mo ngayon, alin yung proportion yung kompleto. Kasi we, wala pa tayong Y. So, hindi, hindi pa natin pwedeng gamitin sa GN. So, ang gagamitan natin ngayon ay si AB over GO. So, we will use this proportion like BC over OM is equal to AB over GO. Again, bakit natin ginamit si BC? Kasi si BC over OM, nandito si X or si BC natin. So, kailangan dyan siya. And next naman, bakit si AB over GO instead of AC over GN? Si AB over GO kasi kompleto na yung um, measurement ng sides nito. While in sa AC over GN, wala pang measurement si GN because GN is represented by Y na hahanapin pa natin sa third example. So, for BC, we will represent it by X. X natin nalagay yan. Okay? And then for ON, your ON is equal to 21. And for AB, for your AB, your AB is 14. Right? Over your GO, punta natin dito GO natin, which is 21. Tama? 21? Ah, this is not 21. ON natin is 12. Sorry. ON is 12. That's a correction. Ngayon, we will cross multiply para mahalap natin si X. So that will become 21 X is equal to 12 times 14. So ngayon, kung hapansin nyo lalaki yung number, di ba? Ang, ang tit po dito, pwede nyo naman siyang gawing ano? Pwede nyo naman what I mean is, pwede nyo naman i-multiply na ito, tapos i-divide na ito. Pero, sige, multiply natin. You have 21 x is equal to 12 times 14, that is 8 4, 2 1 to give you 168, right? 168 so you have 168 here. So meron kang hindi itong 168. Ngayon ang tanong, continue natin dito. You have 21x over, ah sorry, is equal to 168. Divide both sides by 21. 21. Cancel mo to. X is equal to how many? This is equal to 8. Ibig sabihin po, ang value ng x natin is equal to 8. And x is equal to 8. So ngayon, okay na tayo. Let's proceed to item number 3. Erase mo na ito ah. Erase na ito guys. I will erase this. Ngayon, to solve for y naman, for our gn, punta na natin ngayon dito yung, ano, yung, yung ratio na merong gn. So we will be using ac. Because ano kasi, yung y natin is equal to gn. Yan, yun yung reason. So, we need to use AC over GN. And then, lahat naman yung kompleto na. So, nagamit tayo ngayon na kahit anong, ano na, kahit anong ratio na. Dito tinara natin yung AB over GO. So, ang AC natin is 10. Okay? AC is equal to 10. While your GN is represented by Y. Tama ba? Your AC is 10. Your GN is equal to Y. That is equal to your AB. Your AB is 14. You have 14 over your GO. Punta natin dito, your GO is 21. Again, same process by cross multiplication, we will find the value of Y. You have 14. Y is equal to 21 times 10. Or simply, this will become, the natin solution natin. So become 14Y is equal to 210. 
Ngayon, divide both sides by 14. By 14. Cancel, cancel natin. Ilang 14 kaya mayroon sa 21? Ah, sa 210. Ilan? Tayo natin na. 210. Ay, hindi. Simplify na lang natin to. Para silang divisible by 7. So, dito meron tayong 13 na 7. Dito meron tayong dalawa. Okay? Pinapalitan, pinapalitan natin yung number natin. You have 20, 37 here. May tatlo tayo. 30 ang 7. Dito dalawa. And we still have 30 over 2. So, that is 15.5. Ito ngayon yung value ng ating y. This is equal to 15.5. So ngayon guys, I hope na natutunan nyo yung ano, uh, yung pinakonsepto kailan naging similar yung dalawang triangles at the same time, magamit natin yung konsepto ng similar triangles sa pag-resolve ng, uh, ng nawawalang side given ng two similar triangles. And I hope na natuto kayo at sana um, ma-appreciate nyo ating teaching about similar triangles. If you want to request a topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down sa ating comment section para mabasa ko ito. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!